there really such a thing as a love potion or food that can create sexual desire? The legend goes that Casanova ate 50 raw oysters for breakfast. This may well have been a suitable start of the day for him, as oysters are rich in zinc which is needed for sperm production. The oysters do increase the testosterone levels of male rats, which may in turn increase libido. This effect has not been found in humankind. Before you cross up oysters from your first date love menu, oysters looks are associated with those of a vagina, and the sensual way in which oysters are eaten can add to sexual foreplay. Chocolate increases the level of feel-good endorphins released into the brain. They lessen pain, decrease stress, and improve the mood. So when your target of affection has got a bad mood, just feed him 20 bars of chocolate and he will feel more joyous and nauseous probably. So chocolate isn't an aphrodisiac in theory, but if it works for you, indulge. Sourced from the intestines of sperm whales, ambergris has been used as an aphrodisiac since the Middle Ages. Rats that have been given ambrine, the supposed erection causing substance, did get indeed an erection and showed increased sexual behavior. This effect has not been studied in humans. Moreover, sperm whales are an endangered species, so really stay away from them and better pop a Viagra if needed. The best aphrodisiac you can find is ginseng. It relaxes the muscles, improves blood flow, elicits sexual desire and so much more. I'll dedicate a video to the queen of aphrodisiacs soon. In the meantime, I'd say head over to the health store and get yourself a pot of ginseng. I'm afraid no study has found that wine is an aphrodisiac, but alcohol does help overcome sexual inhibitions while impairing sexual performance in the end. Multiple studies have proven that yohimbine helps treat impotence. Its side effect includes seizures and death. Stay away from this stuff before your whole body gets stiff. Cleopatra is believed to have taken a bath with saffron prior to making love. If you too can afford such a luxury, it may well pay off, as saffron is a definite natural aphrodisiac. Both in men and women, saffron increases libido and sexual performance. To conclude, science has only proven the effectivity of two aphrodisiacs, ginseng and saffron. And actually, there's a surprising third one, which I'll tell you about next week. See ya!